Hello everybody, Brad Johnson here, and so I'm doing another audio presentation here. But before I get into the audio presentation where I'm going to be talking about boundaries and psychic defense, I'm just going to be sharing a, another audio clip with everybody here, with my beautiful fiance Kelly and myself, as we did a audio clip here earlier this afternoon. So I'll go ahead and play that now. Hello everybody, Brad Johnson here, and I'm just in my car right now talking to my sweet, lovely fiancé about our sessions back and forth. We're having such a great time, and Kelly's right next to me. Kelly, say hi. Hi guys, I'm loving connecting with everyone and working with everyone, and I'm just moving into a deeper and um, a deeper growth within ourselves, right? So thank you guys for connecting with us and reaching out and following what Brad's doing and we're just loving helping everyone. Aww. If you guys could see the smell on my face, I've been begging Kelly for years to try and get me on audio or video or <laughs> audio is okay, so that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I just wanted to give you guys this message to let you know we're so appreciative of all the support that we're constantly getting from both of, from, uh, both of us, yeah. from all of you guys and to both of us. And so like I said, if you guys do want to get a, a session with Kelly because you know I'm busy, just drop me an email and I'll send uh, Kelly's information to you guys and you can certainly uh, drop her a line. And so from both Kelly and myself, we want to thank you again for all of the loving support and all the help that you guys have been giving us as well too. We've been getting a lot of clientele it's been really, really amazing. And like I said, if you guys do want to have a session with Kelly, just drop me an email. Just go on to newearthteachings.com, go to the contact page and say, hey, Brad, I'd like to contact Kelly for a session and I'll send you uh, her links that you can connect with her. She is currently creating a website as well, too. That website should be done here very soon. Once she does have it ready, uh, she'll drop me the link and then I'll drop you guys the link as well, too, at the same time. So again, much love and much support and thank you so much. Uh, everybody, for who's been uh, for everybody who's been supporting uh, Kelly and myself, we deeply appreciate it, and we're happy to do the work that we do. And thank you for uh, tuning in to our work. We really appreciate it. And so today, I'm going to be talking more about boundaries and psychic defense. <clears throat> so I get this quite a lot from uh, from fellow readers, from psychics, from intuitives, from mediums, from channels. Uh, spiritual experts, teachers, etc. And the big topic regarding boundaries, putting up boundaries to try and help and clear away uh, psychic uh, onslaughts, psychic attacks, as we commonly refer to, and feeling that these boundaries that we put up are basically going to bring about the defense of uh, psychic onslaughts that do take place. Now, as I do talk about in my videos, <clears throat> in regards to putting up boundaries, I've, I would say that this has actually been my mentality of it for quite a few years. I don't really agree with it, right? And I know there's a lot of people that do think that you need to put up boundaries and that you need to have healthy boundaries. And I get that very commonly within my sessions, particularly with other empaths and so forth. <clears throat> they said, well, Brad, I just have to be careful because, you know, if I'm an empath and I'm a medium, I'm a psychic. And if I don't put up these boundaries, then I'm going to be attacked and I'm going to go through a horrible time. And that's the last thing I want. And I completely understand that. I get that, of course. But the only reason we're putting up boundaries is because we are still vulnerable inside. We're still basically creating an opportunity for the ego to run the show. <clears throat> We're letting the ego run the mentalities of ourself because we think that if I have these healthy boundaries put in place, the ego can now step up and I can basically just chase away these people and everything will be good. It's like I said, you're basically living inside a glass house. You're putting a glass ceiling on top of yourself inside this glass house. And now you're in this complete and total glass cube and now you can't go anywhere. So this is why I've recommended the BCR technique. This is why I've recommended cord removal healing as well too. Looking into the meditation where you're going from the left brain to the right brain. Working with the healing code cards as well. These are all very great steps that can help us move into a much more illuminating direction. 
And the goal here really is to have absolutely no boundaries whatsoever. From what I have discovered, and even I had to do this as well too, when I was first starting out, I first put up boundaries, right? When I was first breaking into uh, all of this inner work, that's what I first did. I started putting up boundaries and everything, but I noticed how restricted they were, and I realized how they did not work. And so throughout the years, I attempted to develop systems that would clear away the nature of boundaries and not concerned about psychic defense. And looking more so into the idea of how we are able to heal all the conflicts that are flowing within us that are basically causing us to feel like we need to put up boundaries. Again, you attract your aggressors in your life. If you are seeing yourself as a victim, a victim is going to attract an aggressor. If you feel that a hostile person is going to come into your life, again, we have to pay attention to the magnetics of the type of people that we're bringing into our life. <clears throat> people, places, events, and things are all part of these attractors, these magnetisms that we are bringing into ourself. So we have to look into why that bully comes into our life. We have to look into why there was an aggressive situation that took place. We have to look into why I feel like I'm having a hard time with my partner. We need to look into why I'm having a difficult time with my family or friends. We need to look into why we're having difficulty with finances. We need to look into why we're having a difficult time with career. And the list goes on and on and on. We're feeding it all. We're feeding every bit of this chaos through ourselves because we're living from the outside. This is what happens when you live from the outside. When you live from the outside, you feel like you have to put up quote unquote, healthy boundaries. And if I put up these healthy boundaries, then I'll be fine. No, you won't. No, you won't. You're actually gonna notice that you're trying to feed a fire. It's like trying to hide under a blanket when you have all this noise all around you that just gets louder and louder, you're trying to plug your ears and you're hiding under this blanket and saying, go away, go away, go away. But the noises just keep getting louder and louder and it becomes almost deafening because you're not willing to see it. So that is exactly what happens within ourselves. Our mind, our body is trying to tell us, you have a lot of these inadequacies. You have a lot of these vulnerabilities. You have a lot of these fractures within yourself, mentally, emotionally, physically, that you are not willing to look at. And when you start to look at that and you just go into peace, you start following the breath, you start moving into calmness, you go into reinforcement, you bring yourself into harmony, you bring yourself into love. I'm just describing the BCR technique with you right now. This is where things start to change. I start to look at myself and saying, ah, that's why I've attracted this type of person into my life. This is why this kind of person has magnetically, coherently aligned to me. Because I am seeing myself as a victim. I am seeing myself being quite aggressive with other people myself, and that aggression returns to me. I feel like I'm being shortcut. I feel, I feel like I'm being shorthanded or underhanded. I'm, I'm, I'm getting played into some sort of ridiculous uh, blame game here. And all of that's coming back to me. I'm starting arguments with people and that's coming back to me. I'm starting to open myself up spiritually, which is great. But again, I have not resolved a lot of my past, which was once aggressive, which was once filled with sadness, which was once filled with a great deal of fear. I have not transformed that. I have not cleared that away. I have not brought that into harmony. And so that is exactly why all of these situations happen. That's why we meet aggressive people. That's why we meet people who are about blame and want to point fingers at us and we have to point fingers at them once again. It becomes an endless barrage of attacks and defense and protection and barriers and barricades and boundaries. And again, just putting up more walls around this glass house that you're already living inside. So the key here is we need to just start working from within. We have to live from the inside. When we live from inside the heart, we are now being very consciously aware of what we have been holding on to. I say this because this has certainly been my experience. 
Brad, do you have any boundaries anymore? Nope. Nope. All those boundaries are gone. I've spent the last few years taking every single one of them down. And again, this is where the true happiness comes in. It's not to say at times we may not get challenges. We may still get challenges here and there, but that's okay. As long as you're able to catch those challenges and you realize, oh, okay, I see what I'm feeding here. That's all right. I go in, I look into this, I let spirit take care of it. I move into that harmony and now it's gone. No boundary necessary. So again, people feel that when they move into the spiritual path, when they go into this inner journey, they start to work with their love on a much more deeper level. That's fantastic. That's great. That's exactly what we want to do. But they leave their past unchecked. They leave their past completely wide open and vulnerable. And you're still having these wounds from your past that have been these very deep penetrating scars. And you have given absolutely no intention whatsoever of healing them. You're thinking that as I'm going into the spiritual path right now, oh, these scars will just take care of themselves. No, they will not. No, they won't. You have to heal those scars. You have to be aware of those scars, right? Some of those scars may be kind of small, but they run very deep. We may look around our body and say, oh, I'm pretty sure I got all these scars. And oh, wait, there's one missing here on the small of my back. I just discovered that. I didn't even know I had that. There's another scar here on the inside of my leg. Oh, I didn't even know about that one. That one's there as well, too. Oh, I got that when I was 10 years old. Yeah, I got this scar on the small of my back when I was seven years old. I completely forgot it. It's kind of a small one on the surface, but boy, did it ever reach, did it ever run deep? <laughs> you see? This is what we have to catch. It is not about you putting up healthy boundaries. That is actually what's causing you to be vulnerable to psychic onslaughts in the first place. Right? There is the talk that people have in regards to people who do black magic or dark magic or voodoo in that way. And one of the common misconceptions that even some teachers have talked about in the past is feeling that, well, if you don't have a belief in that black magic or in that voodoo, it won't hurt you. Sorry to bust your bubble, but yes, it will. The idea of black magic or the idea of hexes or voodoo in any of that particular way does not feed upon, upon beliefs. Okay, this is not a belief system. Okay, it is not so fragile as that. It is something that can be quite intimidating. And the reason why it's intimidating is because it looks for karmic exploitation. And what that means is that when you have been hurt in the past and you have basically buried that hurt and you move on and you could just say, oh yeah, it's okay, I don't believe in voodoo so I won't get hurt by it. I don't believe in dark magic or black magic so I won't get hurt by it. That doesn't matter. It would be like the same analogy that if I took a metal bucket, filled it with water, and just put it over top of my head and saying, well, I don't believe that this metal bucket exists, and so I'm not going to get wet, because I don't believe in the bucket. But nonetheless, I turn the bucket over, and I dump all of that water, that freezing cold water, over top of my head, and guess what? I'm wet. I could believe that I will not fall out of a boat and get in and fall into the river and get wet, but nonetheless I do, and I get wet. It is not about the idea of thinking that you are not going to have any belief regarding these dark tactics and that it's not going to hurt you. If that karmic exploitation of the situation that has been exposed and discovered by the one that is doing that dark art, then what is going to happen is you're going to be exploited through that karmic vulnerability, that karmic exploitation. Let's say, for example, a person who is a sex addict, right? They're obsessed with sex, but they don't believe in anything in regards to the dark arts. They don't believe in the thinking that they're going to get hit by it with a hex or a psychic attack or anything of that nature. But all of a sudden they discover they're impotent. Why? Well, let's just say they're ex-partner was uh, was very skilled in the idea of dark arts. And they were able to commit a spell, and that spell was able to feed upon the karmic exploitation of their sexual obsessions. And that is what happens. So when you're looking in the idea, and this is just to educate you guys, this is not to tell you that to go out and do black magic. You, know, you never do that because that, 
is one of the most dangerous and horrific things you could ever do to anybody else. And the consequences that a person that's even doing that are going to be extremely severe for them as well, too. But what is being said here is that you guys are being a lot more aware about why psychic attacks happen. Many of you feel that if I put up boundaries and I don't believe in it, I'm going to be okay. Wrong. You are karmically exploited by some theme in your life. Maybe it's money. Maybe it's sexuality. Okay. Maybe it's the idea of addiction to drugs. Maybe it's uh, problems with the family. Maybe it's problems with career, whatever it may be. There's an exploitation there. There's that karmic exploit that is now discovered by that certain person. So what do we do to heal that? We heal the scar. Just like I've shared. We work together with something like the BCR technique. We go within ourselves, we work with the heart, and we heal the scar. Now I'm completely at peace with my sexuality. I don't abuse it. I'm not obsessed with sexuality. I'm not looking at the dirty thoughts anymore. I'm clearing all of that out. I've been spending the, the next few days, the next few weeks, cleaning all of that out. And now I feel wonderful. I'm completely at peace with my sexuality. I'm completely at peace with my finances. I'm completely at peace with my family. I'm completely at peace with my friends. I'm completely at peace with my career. All of these examples. So now if that, that old intruder was trying to run the dark arts upon you, they couldn't do a darn thing because you're clean. There's no scar there. Guess what will happen? It'll rebound because there is nothing there that is causing that exploitation anymore. And the person that is doing that dark art is basically going to have that uh, attack come back to them. Because what they're doing is it's, it's passing through you like a ghost because you have become humble regarding that situation of karmic exploitation. So what I'm showing you here, what I'm basically telling you through my words, I should say, is the idea that this is why healthy boundaries don't work. Healthy boundaries are just trying to put a band-aid over a very deep wound. And a lot of us get really excited because we follow the spiritual path, because I'm meditating every single day, oh, because I'm starting to learn about healing, because I'm being able to start to help people out as well too. It's very exciting and that's great. I'm happy to hear you're doing that. But you're not out of the woods. How are things looking in regards to your past? Have you even been able to tackle it? Well, no, not yet because I've just been so busy. Well, that's the reason right there. That's why your boundaries get attacked. That's why you feel like you have to put up psychic defense. You got to wear a certain type of jewelry. You got to wear crystals. You got to do chants. You got to do mantras. All to protect, 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 protect. What's protecting you? All you're doing is you're looking at something that was caused by the ego and you're trying to get protection around something that you have caused to try and hold the line for you. That's not going to work. You might as well try to make a fortress out of toothpicks. And as soon as the wind comes, that fortress gets blown down because that's what this protection does. Spirit has absolutely no interest in, perfect, in protecting the imperfect. Okay? Spirit has no problem looking after you because you yourself are perfection. But spirit has absolutely no interest whatsoever about you and your insecurities, about the ego self, the ego you, and your insecurities about the imperfect you because spirit doesn't vibrate to imperfection. Spirit doesn't vibrate to the idea of trying to compensate and hold you steady while you're feeling completely overwhelmed by all these attacks that are being caused because you're not able to see the ignorance that you're holding within yourself that's causing all of these dilemmas to take place. The only way you are ever going to be completely free is when you firstly clean yourself up, you make peace with your situations that have caused you agony and suffering in the past. Now you've cleaned it up. Now you've made peace with it. Now you can go into beingness. Now you can go into that true neutrality. Now you can go into the non-dual. Now you can live through the heart. 
and now you're free. That freedom does not come from the mind. That freedom does not come through duality. That freedom does not come with you walking this path where you feel that I got to put up boundaries because this is happening. With all due respect, you are ignorant to your wounds that are still deeply embedded within yourself that you have not been willing to tackle, that you are not willing to see, that you are not willing to work on, and that's why you have problems. So this is why I say it's not about boundaries. Okay, And I've said that to so many people who have done sessions with me. And like I said, guys, I've done tens of thousands of sessions over these past nearly, nearly 14 years now. Tens of thousands of them. Whether it's private sessions, whether it's talking to an audience, talking to an event uh, a crowd, just talking to all these people. And it's very, very common about boundaries. Brad, I feel like I'm constantly getting attacked. I feel like there's a psychic attack all over me. I'm constantly putting up this protection. I'm trying to put up these protection spells, but nothing's working. What's going on? You are still vulnerable to all of your wounds and your pain and your suffering that has been with you since the time of your birth, and you have done nothing to heal it. And because you've done nothing to heal it, it still runs rancid through you, and you're still attracting and magnetizing yourself to the people, places, events, and things that are triggering yourself to feel like you have to put up boundaries, when in fact that's not the answer. And what you really have to do is make peace with all of the vulnerabilities that you have so that you're no longer vulnerable, but now you're at peace. That's what you have to do. This is not about boundaries. This is not about protection. This is not about psychic defense. I hear that so much, and I just keep shaking my head. No, guys, no, no. You're trying to validate your ego. You're trying to validate your ignorance. I don't need to change, and I don't have to change, and so I'm going to put up all this protection and layers of defense because I don't have to change. I'm fine. Everybody else is screwed up. Everybody else is messed up, okay? And that comes from a place of ignorance. You are getting the attacks upon you because you are ignorant to the wounds that have been with you throughout much of your life that you do not realize are still there and you need to work in clearing them out so that they can be brought into peace, so that you are at peace and there is no further need for boundaries. That's it. That's the answer. And that's the work that we have to do. Otherwise, we're just piling up all these different layers of boundaries. Oh, this person's attacking me this way. Oh, so I'll do this spell. Oh, well, this person's done doing this. Okay, well, I'll put up this spell. And I know this person's doing this now. Okay, well, I'll put up this spell. And now you got all of this extra clutter. And now you got all of this extra energy that is being spent uselessly on these different degrees of boundaries that are not doing any good because you're constantly putting all these band-aids over these old wounds that you have not permitted yourself to heal. And so when you realize that, now you say, oh my goodness, all I have really had to do was make peace. I had to look at all these old things. I had to look at all these old traumas, these old mental traumas, these old emotional conflicts. And all I ever had to do was make peace with them because I've been lighting the fire. I've been igniting the bonfire. I've been creating the inferno. There's nothing wrong with me. It's something wrong with somebody else. And that becomes ignorance. And that's why we put up the, the, the protection. Okay? Like I said, guys, I used to do this in the earlier times as well, too. And I saw how it didn't work. It didn't work. I was being told by people, Brad, just do this. Put up this thing. Wear this type of jewelry. Put these kind of crystals around you. Do this kind of affirmation, etc. No, those are all excuses. And you're expending so much energy trying to put all of this defense upon yourself that you're going to exhaust yourself like crazy. So let's look into making peace with ourselves. Let's look into being honest with ourselves. Let's look into being open with ourselves. Let's look into bringing peace to these vulnerabilities of karmic exploitations, these wounds that we have been wearing since our early childhood. 
that when we start to awaken ourselves, the true nature here is to be aware of the wounds that you carry so that we are now able to perform simple inner practices to clearing them all out. Okay, let's remember that. Whether you're doing BCR technique, whether you're doing cord removal healing, whether you're doing uh, heart rate variability breath, inner practices through meditation, etc. Let's keep doing that work because that's what's going to make a difference and you should be really completely free of any and all boundaries altogether. And that is how you're free because you're living from the inside. And so I'm going to be creating a brand new healing technique for everybody here. It is going to be debuting sometime this week. It is referred to as the conflict elimination technique. Now, for those of you who are familiar with BCR technique, <clears throat> when we're looking at the conflict elimination technique, this is the next step. Okay, So BCR technique and cord removal healing technique are step one. Now we're going to move into step two. Now we're going to do something more advanced, but even more simple than BCR and even more simple than cord removal healing. And this new practice is called conflict elimination technique. It is shorter than BCR. It is shorter than cord removal healing. And it is so incredibly simple that you will see your traumas evacuate your, from yourself within a matter of seconds to a couple of minutes. And so this is what I'm preparing right now to debut this week. It will be a free technique. Everybody will be able to use it. And when that uh, technique is ready, a video will be uh, put up on my YouTube channel and you are more than welcome to share it around. Just make sure that again, we're not charging for this technique. Like I said, with BCR technique, with cord removal healing, and with the brand new conflict elimination technique, these are free healing techniques for everybody. Okay. So watch for that this week. I'll have more of an explanation with it, giving you guys a little bit of a teaser of it right now, but it's something very incredible. I have been working with it. I've been uh, doing, this with, uh, doing this technique with a few of my clients through sessions as well too, and uh, even through today's group uh, Q&A session on Patreon. And it has been very, very successful. So I'm looking forward to debuting it this week. Stay in touch uh, with this upcoming video. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be life-changing. And I'm really looking forward to sharing it publicly. So thank you, everybody, for tuning into this audio. Again, on behalf of Kelly and myself, thank you so much. And again, if you do want to have a session with Kelly, feel free to drop me an email uh, through newearthteachings.com on the contact page, and I'll be happy to send you her information. Okay? Thank you so much, everybody. Take care, and may it be well with you. Thank you very much for checking out the New Earth Teachings YouTube channel. Feel free to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And you can check out the websites, newearthteachings.com, where you can order a private session, three questions by email, EQ method, and a lot more. And you can also check out healingcodecards.com, where you can grab your mind deck, your body deck, and of course the brand new body deck special edition. All of these are available in digital editions as well. And you can also get a shirt just like this through healingcodeshop.com where you can experience the healing codes in apparel form. So feel free to check out these websites. Thank you so much and I'll speak to you again in the next video. Be well.